Hey all, I'm Jenna and I love to share how to use the Project Life app to make simple scrapbook pages with all the photos I take on my phone. This is part three of a getting started series and I hope that it will continue to show you how easy it is to scrap all the photos you take with your phone too. In part one, I showed you how to make a basic page in the Project Life app and how to do some basic journaling. In part two, I showed you how to set up some preferences, use overlays, add one of the two journaling upgrades called Freeform Text, and change your background color by setting the palette. Please watch those and then pick up here with me for part three, where I wanna show you how to add fonts to the app and how to make pages with cards from other online digital scrapbooking stores. To purchase the ability to import fonts into the Project Life app, you are going to pay $4.99 for a one-time price, and then you can add as many fonts as you want. To start, go to Library, go to Fonts, then click on the plus sign in the upper right, and then you're going to see this pop up. You're gonna install your own fonts and you're gonna click Buy right here to give you this ability. And notice what it says right here in this small print. The Project Life can install TTF and OTF font files to make your own fonts available for journaling and freeform text. So it's gonna work with the other upgrade and of course the native journaling. And you can use one or the other. You don't have to have freeform text to add your own fonts but I do suggest always adding the OTF font file if you're given the choice. I added this feature long ago when it first came out, so I can't walk you through the exact step, but after you click buy, you're going to follow the purchasing prompts here and purchase it through your app store. And then now you have the ability to add fonts. Okay, now that you purchased the ability to import fonts into the Project Life app, let's walk through it. There are a couple of ways to do it. I'll demo both ways, but first we're gonna download some fonts from a website like this. This is defont.com. Most of the downloads are free, and we'll start with a font name from a suggestion from a member of the Simply Project Life Facebook group. If you don't have the name of a specific font to try to search for, you can just look through some of these options or scroll through the recently added fonts and find something fun. The one I'm looking for is called Photograph Signature. Let's see, yeah. I'm going to uh, tap Download right here and when the pop-up comes up, I'm going to click Download again. It'll get downloaded to my temporary downloads folder in my Files app. And while I'm on the website, I want to search for a couple of others. One is called Ornamind or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to click download, download again. And the other one is called flowering. It's just little flowers. All right. So download and download. Now I have three fonts in my temporary downloads folder where I can add them to the Project Life app. Okay, the easiest way to get them loaded into the Project Life app is to just come to the font library and click the plus sign again. We are going to install our font files and here it tells you the two ways you can add them. You can click browse and it'll go to your storage or you can load it into the app from another source. So we're, we're going to do this easiest way. It's just super easy. And then down here, this is a feature they don't offer anymore. So don't worry about that. If you want to make your own handwriting into a font, there's resources out there. Just go Google that. So let's browse and it'll go to our files app and we can just add these straight into the app. So I'm going to just tap there, browse again, tap. You don't even have to unzip it. Um, it'll just do it for you. All right, so now I should have, closing that out, my three new fonts loaded at the bottom of this list. Okay, that's fun. And the second way to add a font is to search for a font that you wanna use. I'm gonna look for one called Elegant. And it's this one right here. I'm gonna download it the same way. I'm gonna click download the same way. But then I am going to come up here to this. I'm gonna tap right here on Elegant 
four, I guess. And then I'm gonna tap to unzip it. And here's the font. It has two options, an OTF file and a TTF file. And sometimes there's a folder, sometimes there's not. It just depends on how much other stuff they want to put in there, like their licensing or terms of use or maybe even a link to their website or something like that. But if you have the choice, always choose OTF. I think it gives you the most flexibility from what I understand, which is limited understanding. But I believe that's the, the way I was told. Uh, I always add the OTF file if I have a choice. So I'm going to tap on that and then come up here to this export arrow, and I'm gonna choose Project Life. If I don't see Project Life in this window, I'm gonna click More, and then I'm going to Edit, and I am going to look through this list and toggle it on, or click the plus sign, and then if I want to move it up and down in the queue, I can um, do it there. So be sure to do that for most customization. And we're gonna come back in here and add it to the Project Life app. And then just say, okay. If you get an error message here, it's because you've already loaded the font or you haven't purchased the ability to do that yet. So it won't tell you what the problem is, but those are the two most likely reasons for it not being installed. Okay, so let's see. Let me get back in there. I didn't see it loaded. Let me go back down to the bottom. Ah, there it is, okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I've got four new fonts to play with. And if you think adding a few fonts is fun, you've got another think coming because adding cards from other online digital scrapbooking stores is even more fun. Of course, do not neglect all of the kits in the Project Life app. There are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kits in this app. There's no need to go outside of it. But if you're looking for something else, there's tons of resources for that outside of the app as well. But again, you know, there are hundreds, hundreds of kits in this app from amazing designers. So please, please, please do not neglect all of the kits in the Project Life app and definitely use the search feature to try to find something before making it a little more difficult. But if you wanna complicate your life, who am I to stop you? So let me show you a few websites that you could purchase other digital scrapbooking products from. Now in the app, the only thing you're gonna have success with are cards or papers that you could use as a filler card. So this is the lilypad.com and you can filter in the menu by pocket scrapbooking or journal cards. So be sure to do that so you can see cards that will work in the Project Life app. But take some time to set up an account on these websites I'm showing you and feel free to just shop to your heart's content. Don't go crazy though. You'll regret it later when you gotta organize all that stuff. Here's another store, it's Ginger Scraps. Again, there's ways to filter it by type of product or even designer. So be sure to scroll through all that. And there's a new one, it's called Hey Scrapper. This is an awesome, awesome new site. So be sure to check that out as well. Simple Stories is a good one. And now some of these sites, you will have to look for the digital store. So make sure you're looking at digital products because they have paper and digital. So be sure to check that out and filter for that. Um, here's another one, Sweet Shop, that's a good one. And then some designers, they have their own shops like the Practical Scrapper, In a Creative Bubble. This is a fun one. I love that site too. Of course, Allie Edwards. And then don't forget about Etsy where you can find some good products on Etsy as well. So just um, search on Etsy for digital scrapbooking journal cards or something like that and you'll find some good products. But we're going to start by demoing with a freebie from this website. This is Celine Studio. She's not actively designing right now. She has a great line of products that she's made with um, British Designs about Disney. So that's the Project Mouse line of products. Be sure to check that out if you're a Disney scrapper because they are so, so awesome. But we're going to start with a freebie on her site. So go to the Be Inspired tab, click on freebies. Look at how cute some of this stuff is. It's adorable. And then go to the next page and we are going to demo with this collection right here. It's called Mr. Mouse. 
and we're going to download it like we did those fonts. We're gonna tap on the kit and find the download button. So tap on the download now button, tap download on the pop-up, and it will load to your temporary downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this zipped file. I'm gonna tap on it again to unzip it and open the folder. I'm gonna read the terms of use and see what my options are on how to use this. And then I am going to select the cards and I'm going to save them to my Photos app. Now, I don't wanna leave this folder in my temporary downloads uh, spot. So I, I wanna select it and I wanna move this along with those fonts I downloaded. You, you always wanna move things out of your temporary downloads folder and save them in a more permanent place like your preferred cloud. So I am going to select it and I'm just gonna say move and I am going to put it in my iCloud Drive. Now, if you don't see what you prefer to use, tap on the three dots to edit the sidebar and toggle on whatever cloud you prefer here. If you don't see your preferred cloud here, then that means you need to download and log into that app, and then it will be an option here and you can toggle it on. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in my iCloud Drive for now and I'm gonna copy it over. And then I can delete in here. Once those things are copied or moved, then I can delete out of here because you want your downloads folder to be as cleaned up as possible just as a way to stay uh, better organized. All right, so back in the Project Life app, I am going to choose the photo picker to add those cards. And I am going to add one here. I'm going to add this one here and I'll add this one up here and I can do some journaling on this card with free form text. Now remember, we've got to change the color to black and we demoed this previously, so be sure to catch up and then come back and join us here if you're not sure how to use free form text. You always have to use free form text on any of the cards you bring in through the photo picker, the only thing you can use the free native journaling option on are the in-app journal cards. And remember, when the journaling icon is up here in the upper left, you're using freeform text. If you see the journaling icon pop up in the middle of the card, that means you're using the in-app free native journaling function. And then there's another way to navigate to these cards. I added them through the photo picker, but I can also navigate to the cloud I prefer by clicking on more options, browse, and coming to my iCloud drive where I moved that folder. Let's see, here it is. And so I can add a card that way as well. And here's how I actually finished that page off back in 2018. I used an outside card here and here, and I can see down here that this May 2018 is an added font with freeform text, but I used a in-app title card from Midnight Edition, I believe here, and a journal card from Midnight Edition here and I used the in-app fonts and basic journaling for those two. You can do whatever you want. You can mix and match in-app kits with out-of-app kits, in-app fonts with out-of-app fonts, free-form text, no free-form text. Scrapbooking is supposed to be fun. There's no mandate for this. You need to do it for yourself if you wanna actually enjoy it. And so I encourage you to play around with different fonts and card packs in the app and outside of the app. There's a whole world of digital scrapbooking out there and you can do whatever you want. So I hope this encourages you to try something new and continue to create more pages, especially if you're in a lull and you need something to just jumpstart a session, try adding something from outside of the app. Try adding a, one font and just see where it takes you. I hope this was informative and helps you get a little more out of your scrapbooking. I did cover the very basics of all of this, so I encourage you to join us in the Simply Project Life App Scrappers group. Our eighth birthday is at the end of this month, June 2025, and we'd love to hit 8,000 members. I hope you'll be one of those people to join us. 
You can always see more in the featured posts section where there is a featured post about adding outside cards and journaling. And be sure to read our welcome message here in our FAQs post as well. We would love to have you join us in this group. And if you decide you don't wanna do anything extra, you just wanna stick with the Project Life app, like I said earlier, there are hundreds of kits. I mean, I, I want to say there's over 400 kits in the app. So the choices are there. You can always find something. You can mix and match kits and really just customize your pages to your desires. So I hope this helped you and I hope you have a, a good app scrapping session today. Go make a page and share with us in the Simply Project Life app scrapping group and happy app scrapping everybody.